Welcome back to Cozy Womb Podcast. My name is Shan, Mama of the Girls. Welcome. This is episode nine, Balanced Parents Over Exhausted Parents. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. I believe there is a difference between balanced parents and exhausted ones. We see it all the time. We hear it all the time. And some of us feel it all the time. I don't think anyone wants to be an exhausted parent. Life today can be demanding, especially with instant access to things, right? And kids want to go here, there, and after here, they want to go somewhere. And parents work outside the home, in the home. Parents get tired. We are getting older. Um, A lot of us don't Uh, quite have our exercise regimen in. We don't eat the healthiest. And parents who work outside the home, uh, they really don't get to engage with their kids as much as they would like. And it's a lot to do with being able to balance your time between people. And when you really don't have more to give, it gets a bit frustrating. And to be a balanced parent, we have to remember a few things, and I'm going to go over those things that we have to remember as both mom and dad. And welcome to Cozy Moon. Thank you for supporting the Cozy Moon podcast show. It is brought to you by Red Circle. Red Circle is a desktop platform where it doesn't have an app. But it has the best distribution that you can have for your podcast. It gives you the best reach for other platforms as far as distribution and as far as monetizing your show. It has the best options to go ahead and monetize your show. And also people can donate directly to your podcast. And the best part is you can cross promote with other podcasters within Red Circle. So hop on to Red Circle. Don't be limited by what you can do in your podcast today. Here we go. Back to the show. Back to the show. All right, y'all. So first things first, we have to remember a few things. Parents are human. We have to say no sometimes. We cannot do it all. We can love our kids and say maybe. We have relationships with friends, co-parents, parents, spouses, and our kids. And the people we come across in the middle of all of those things, right? So when it comes to setting rules for everyone, we have to remember we are only human. And that is the only way we can set up those rules. Understand your strengths as a mom, understand your strengths as a dad, but also understand your weaknesses. If you, you know, want to be taught to a certain way, find a balanced way of communicating that. You know, if your sleep's been messed up, communicate that. If your emotions aren't the best, communicate that. I've been angry, um for the past few weeks because I'm adjusting because um, I'm feeling very um, stressed with everything I'm trying to make sure is in alignment and all that I have to do throughout the day um, I'm feeling stressed about because um, there's only so many hours in the day and it's like every little a time or gap of time would I have to not do something I have to do something because I am the primary person in here with these girls and it gets very frustrating that I have to always be it so even with that I have to find a way to communicate that so one of my kids dads he's been he's been keeping um our daughter a little bit longer because I don't want to you know, I don't want to yell at her and it's not her fault. I don't want her, her to see me angry. I don't want to uh, be going through like these waves of emotion with her. But my oldest, she has to stay here and deal with me with that. So like things like that, that's exhausted parenting. I feel like if um, my oldest daughter's dad was a bit more mature and responsible and I can trust him to be like, hey, you know what? Anya's out of school for two months. Why don't you keep her for the summer? I can't even do that. 
you know, because I don't trust him to parent in a responsible way. So I can't even do that. So I don't do it. So yes, I'm a bit burnt out right now. And parent burnout is real. You know, if you don't take care of yourself, your kids will hear it. Your kids will feel it. That's a real thing. Disciplining and nurturing. You have to know how to balance that as a parent or you'll be exhausted. Caring and teaching. You have to know how to balance that as a parent or you'll be exhausted. Now, (laughs) doing parenting alone is exhausting within itself. And I would love to put the girls in sports, but my job doesn't allow me that time or financial ability. I think they would love dance or swimming, you know. Um, Good parenting is a lot of how you work together with the other parent, okay? Okay. Um, Healthy parenting is being able to communicate what's needed, um, being able to support each other, and being able to make sure both of you want the best for your child. The girls... What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. Would love to have a dog. But the reality is I cannot take that on. That's too much. That's like having a third kid in the house, you know? And we have to be okay um, with doing what we can in parenting and not try to do it all. Because once you try to do it all, your kids start to um, not appreciate it because they think they should have it. They start to get very entitled and they start to feel like it's easy for you to do it all. And it's not easy to do it all, even though we would like to do it all. So when it comes to balanced parenting, you have to have a support system, whether it's like your close friends, family, um, people you can vent to. Uh, You have to have a step away from parenting 24-7. I always tell people, 96% of the time I have my kids. 96% of the time I'm in my house with my children. I'm rarely ever, ever alone in my house. You know what I'm saying? Um, When I'm driving, majority of the time they're with me. So it's like really no space for me to just be within my thoughts and within my own zone except after hours, um, which is like after like 11 p.m. at night till 6 a.m. in the morning because my child will come next to my bed and be like, hey, it's Monday. And I just like this morning, she said, hey, it's Monday. I said, okay, Anya, what's up? You have to work today. I know I have to work today. That's why I have an alarm on my phone. I don't start work yet. Oh, okay. Oh, my sleep is ruined. Like, I missed that time for my sleep because she wanted to wake me up. Like, it's, it's things like that that make parenting sometimes exhausting because they don't understand that you need all the sleep that you have and you have your wake-up time handled. But they do that because they think you don't, you know? They, they do that because you need my invisible assistance. And all of a sudden, you know, I wanted to spend the day in my house, but no. I can't do that because my child wanted to use all of the dishwashing soap on three dishes. So I have to go to the store today. So it's like little things like that that make it exhausting where you planned your day to not do certain things. But because things have transpired throughout the day with your children, now you have to go outside and do them. So that's just where I'm at. That's the reality of it. And so if you find yourself exhausted in parenting, get the help, speak up, communicate that. And if the other parent is just not, it's not clicking for them, 
do yourself a favor and stop communicating because the more you communicate the more frustrating it gets i've been there i've done that i'm doing that right now with one of their dads and i told him i like i can't communicate to you because you don't get it just 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 hit your girl's ipad hit your daughter's ipad and leave me alone <laughs> and sometimes it has to be like that but balanced parenting should involve a lot of understanding and if the other person cannot understand it tell them to phone a friend because you are not it thank you for listening to the cozy moon podcast if you would like to click into some bonus episodes you can subscribe on red circle and listen to some bonus episodes for cozy moon podcast i appreciate y'all thank you guys for all the reviews and thank you guys who are out here buying the cozy moon merch on the cozy moon shop i appreciate that too peace Please, please, God.